I don't remember anything. Uh, so I think it was like uh, after some discussion, we managed to kind of like get Verbon to get to sleep, and then it was Isuya, Oracle, and Kefla that managed to sneak out of the of the building. Yeah, to to get to the where the girl was kept. Mm-hmm. Um. I glazed over a lot of the discussion, but all I remember is, yeah, we made use of Kefla's fly to kind of get there, and once we were ready to go, like Oracus helped with the silence, and then uh, Kefla and Suya tried to crop control, and then ended up with the two guards getting their heads chopped off and their face man. Um, more specifically, you chop off their heads. Yes, yes, totally. In character and and what I wanted to do. Yes. 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 It was. It was totally in character. Yes. It's very much in character. <laughs> yes. Then uh yeah we managed to we'll free her and then uh get her to the uh, the spot that we agreed the rendezvous spot. And at the same time, some weird shit was going on with Cypher and the prisoner, right? Like some. some Vine red or whatever the fuck was happening. Uh, you know, honestly, I'm still confused about that part. But okay, we we just pretend like I understand. Where like I I guess somehow or another, I guess Iridesa was able to get something into the prison to kind of like burn it down, burn the room down with it, and then Cypher was able to stop it in time. And no, no. The, the burning was totally Cypher's doing. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, was it the what the moonbeam was? Yeah. I see. Okay. Okay. So yeah, Cypher committed arson then, and, and, and almost. No. No. <laughs> committed ghostly arson. It ghostly. was ghostly flames. Yes, yes. To find the prisoner who had disappeared. Yeah. Right, and. It's just a game of hide and seek that got out of hand. Indeed. Then yeah, so Cypher managed to find um the prisoner who Oh <laughs> Sunny Kerr. Yeah, managed to find the prisoner who was when invisible, probably the help of Iridesa and her vine red. And uh Can you stop saying vine red. It's it's literally what it is. It's a vine red. Yes, but uh, yeah. After that, um, the ha- the other half of the party managed to get back to the castle. Um, get back to where Cyfrid was, and uh, we at that time like Verbum was rested enough for him to cast tongues on the prisoner, so the assassin. So we did some interrogation, mostly just shit talking. To be honest, from what I understand. And then, just some key info like um how she revealed that Iridesa is like the queen, and there was like this gigantic vine dragon that was flying over, which is, yeah, well, yeah, but yeah, I think I missed out some info about like uh, we we I guess we we all suspect that um the high blade is kind of like. Behind this or in cahoots, right? To no, I this attack. I thought about that more. I don't think so. Okay, but yeah. So, vine dragon. Uh, and then like, the assassin was saying how like all oh, the cities already gone. Oh, it's gonna get burned. Whatever. Yeah. Then um. In the end, we didn't really find out more info from her, so we just decided to leave her to her fate with the guards. Um, and when we returned to our rooms, uh, there was a vine bird this time. Vine bird perched on our window, and uh, it did weird dissolving stuff and uh, revealed a note from Iridesa herself that we could, like just. Requesting to meet, I guess, and also kind of drop that uh, Ethel Wine is her daughter. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, 
that, that I think that's about it. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, wait, she didn't re technically request to meet, right? She just said that if we want to meet with her, we need to bring a black heart. Oh, or right, rather right. give her the black heart. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, and they were talking like the assassin was talking about. It was just a promising what reincarnation into the free world, which does not sound likely to be honest. <laughs> but you know, it's a wow concept. <laughs> yes. Okay. As we start today's session, uh, we pick up where we last left off, where uh the five of you have received a note. From uh, Queen Iridessa stating that she is happy to grant you a peaceful and harmless audience on the one condition that you bring a daughter's heart which you carry with you. Uh so we'll pick off we will pick up where we left off. What would you like to do? I don't know. <laughs> uh, do, do we want to meet with her in the first place? Um, I guess so. <laughs> to find out really what's happening with Bastion and. Well, Dan. we can't like. Give her the heart. That's true. Unless you're prepared to have Ethel Wine come back. How strong is she? Can we take her? I think we can take her again. No, no I mean, not, what, not what, either what, vine. Wait, uh, Iridesa. I mean, she wouldn't be revived, right? So I don't even think we can take the vine dragon. We could maybe do the vine red. The vine red sounds, sounds tough. Yeah, it beat me to an inch of my life, honestly. You guys just missed it. Um, well, that's with. I mean, I don't know. What if we end up finding out that the mass elves are like not the bad people, which does not sound likely, but you know. Cause Graf, may I remind you that they plotted your parents? Yes, that, that's very true. Oh, uh, what's this campaign even? What does it mean? But then, if, if we don't speak with Iridessa then I, I feel like we we'll just continue not good knowing yeah. yeah so I thought that we would have more things to say to the high blade I mean are we supposed to be uh, following up on uh, where they are trying to track the the head shaft down do we care about that really? I mean, it's small. Is like we're still right in the there. city, right? It's like small fry, right? We've got bigger fish to fry, right? Well, it depends we on how long we're spending here. Do we want to let them know about Iridesa's or basically the true identity of the covens behind all this? I'm assuming that. The high blade doesn't know, right? Or the blades do not know. Okay. Hmm. Might have ate too much meat for dinner. Yeah. So I'm gonna get a coffee. Then I'm gonna come back. And then I have a plan. I have a semblance of a plan. It's getting stuck in my pipes right now. Okay, while he goes and gets his coffee and has a semblance of a plan, the rest of you can come up with another plan that you have two plans! Planning. I think we need to leave this place. I mean, it's either we meet her or don't. I'm assuming that Seyfried's plan is to <laughs> somehow meet her but not hand over the heart. That's the ideal situation, right? Yeah, but... I feel like that's not gonna happen. 
But isn't the requirement of meeting her to hand over the heart in the first place? To bring so the heart. Yeah. Do you have to bring like an illusionary heart? I feel like that's a good way to get Vine One Dragon. Yeah. Yes. What if it was a uh, what if it was a mistake this whole time? What's a mistake? What you mean? We are, you think we are fighting for the wrong uh, side? What if at all I was onto something? Huh? What What would she be onto? You mean she's like a rebellious child and she's actually like disobeying Iridesa's order? What if there's actually a way to be re reborn into the Feywild? But I mean, what what's the point? Do you want to get reborn to the Feywild? No, I do not want to be reborn into the Feywild. Right. I mean, I guess I do want to know why they destroyed my home. Yeah. But to give back it, it, wine again. Not sure I can do that. <sighs> the heart is still beating, right? At the same time. It probably uh, is problematic he, to revive. He is still beating. Like, they probably just need it to give, I don't know, do some magic to put their heart in a body or something. Maybe, maybe, maybe Ato Wine gets a vine body, becomes a vine Ato Wine. But I think the free. idea of uh, transcendent fucked up family through the ages that just gets their hearts put in new bodies is a very real thing which might explain the relative youth of Edelwine uh, so... I think we are here to get Bastion's aid, right? We, we are. That was before we found out that the threat they are facing is the threat we are facing. I feel like if we present this information to the High Blade, a reasonable person would need no more convincing. So we don't need to do any more favors. We just I need mean... to like, work together. I do think we sh we should still let the high blade know that, you know, this is our enemy. Yes. Having said that, he might refuse to send men over to help Everesca, but maybe we have some gunpowder or black powder or some equipment that can be used to aid Everesca. We we don't necessarily need their bodies, right? Because I think they would want to stay here to defend their city. But what was the agreement between Everesca and Bastion? We solve their magic user problem and they let us in, but we can't just solve it now because it's in not terms just of like make it go away, of... get rid of the COVID. As in aid in terms of like armies, right? There was no specific okay. No specific terms. So the way I see it, our job as diplomats from Everesca are done. Now the second part of the question is, like where do we stand on Bastion? If we, depending on the High Blade's attitude, we could just march on Iridesa and no, I don't think that's a good idea. You know what? I feel like it's time that I look 
to Titania for answers. Yeah, all this Feywild family squabbles, kind of your thing, right? I guess so. I feel like initially, I thought it was uh, you know, lots of miscreants come out of the Feywild. It's probably nothing to be worried about. But it, I, I feel like this is a, a major faction type of situation. How are you going to seek help from Titana? You need to find some holy place, right? Some some place that connects to I don't know something. Sorry, I missed that. What are you saying? You need to find some place to connect with the Feywild place thing. Oh yes, that's reasonably accurate. I mean, we take a walk around the city, see what feels right. But, okay, so we, we kind of have two different things, right, going on. That's the, that's the whole Bastion and the High Blade. And then there's the whole Mast Elves and attacking Bastion and Iridessa. But like... I, I don't know, like... Are you... But I, I don't think we need to worry so much about Bastion's political situation, right? I, I think so, like... We, we, we really just need them to sign that paper or whatever, right? And then our job is done. But, no, like... The must else and everything, it's like... It's... We, yeah, we still that's why I say I think yeah, what our job's done. Yeah. Need to talk to the high blade, we need to cuts on the table. Uh, but for some insurance, I would feel like I would seek Iridessa, I mean, I would seek Titania first. Now, the second thing is can we like take stock what we know of the Mars Elf's motivation? I know it's not a lot, but where were we on that? Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Um. We know they hate Everesca. Specifically Everesca, right? Uh, the assassin said something about the Queen's motives, right? I cannot really remember. Like there was a reason why she gathered the covens. Was that the assassin? Yeah. No. Hey, maybe I she reference to Baba Yaga. If that was your, is that was is is that, is that what you're talking about? Maybe. And he just said that you read this. Araska is fully aware of, uh, like the Moscow's presence outside of you know outside of Everesca right like outside of outside Everesca I so the Mars so. Elves have been working to destabilize Everesca's allies we um, but we actually didn't prove that for um Anorok right did we yeah. we never actually fully found out who's behind Setting the wham off there. Right? Yeah. No, but but remember we found the plan that connected Eto into the plot. Yes. So there we know that she's been that, dabbling there. There were some clues that they were also not like human skin color, right? So. Yeah, but that was makeup. Mm, true. That's a different thing. But, um, right now we're what, like. What's their goal, right? Like, dude, I. Like, yeah, that's the. the that's the deep cut that I'm trying to figure out here. I'm gonna look through all the journal items again. I may have missed something. So right now we are like far away from Avraska, right? And all the scouting parties that Avraska has always sent, you know, maybe not for the Moscow's but for the war and stuff. And some scouting parties 
when they discover things about the Moscow's, it's always close to Everest or in the vicinity. So I don't know if they are aware of the Moscow's presence outside of Everest, even though we're all the way here in the best. I way. don't think so. I think they are in denial about the mass elf's presence in Everesca. Yeah. So okay, so we know they are definitely Fey origin. Right, that's the their modus operandi is also like Fey plants, that kind of stuff. We know that they are very capable of magic. Uh, they possibly related to the Shan Ball. Uh, but the most, the only direct thing we know is that they want to resurrect a long dead being. Hmm. Uh, they have I mean, Ark Fey on their side. There's right. no real. There's no real like evidence to their right. It's all circumstantial, right? No, the resurrection one is the only. But I we mean, all those are facts. Right? It's it's just our theory because we didn't actually hear them say that from. No, that Anyone. was the Dream Weaver's information, right? Right. That they are bringing a Costa to somewhere. All that tracks so far. I think it's quite accurate. Cool. Um. <sighs> And then they destabilized the metal. Was that intentional or was that a side effect of the divine word? And if something the king. Is weird. Yeah, something is weird. Then if the king is alive and kicking, then what are they bringing back? Yeah, exactly. Something doesn't track. Are we going to talk to her then? It's not like she's gonna... She might tell us something, I, I guess. I don't know her personality. Is she the, like, arrogant, I'll tell you what you want kind of character? I feel like she would not be. Takes a fairly charismatic leader to organize the covens. Um, but all this is, like, if you surrender the heart, right? Yeah. Hmm. Who, who wants to speak with her? I'm not really super invested in the idea. I feel like I want to talk to Titania to see what she knows first. I, I think, okay, then maybe for now we can speak with the High Blade and do what we came here to do. And like if Cyfried manages to find a place to speak with Titania, maybe she can help us out. And yeah, like I I I, I feel like we we should I I don't know. Uh, aside from personal reasons, we don't really have a reason to stick pass, around. Yeah, I would just want to go back and. Pick up our orphans and settle our affairs in the rest. Yeah. yeah. This is a bit too much. Like if, yeah, I don't know. Feel like nothing good can come out of meeting with you, Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's like both, both sides are not giving us the whole story, and it's very difficult to make decisions like Everesca has their own bunch of secrets right? like they don't want to tell us anything so you know can't really help or, or we can't really make a proper decision I guess <sighs> I think Let's just, yeah, let's just speak with the high blade when we are able to. In the meantime, um, Saifri will look for uh, a place to call place. Yeah. 
make sure to ask the high blade why he was preparing all those men to move out. I I don't think it's so elaborate, uh, like a conspiracy that he was already preparing to for an attack. But I, I'd like to hear his reasoning. Yeah. Okay. Also, Marion left some instructions with me if we were meeting Iridesa. But I suppose that doesn't really matter, right? I don't think we'll... I yeah. don't know, does it? Wait, I'm, I'm curious. What, what are the instructions? Oh, she just wanted to know what went on with her brother as well. Okay. Uh, but I think we kind of know what happened to her brother, right? It's just caught in the blast that severed the mitral and it also damaged his connection. Okay. We'll set off then. Okay. So I feel you're going to find a place of natural beauty? Yes. Within the city? Or without. If I feel like the city doesn't really have a natural feature and it's too developed, then I suppose I'll take a walk outside. Okay, so after about an hour of walking around the city uh, alone, you do what, what, find... what is the general vibe of the city this morning? It's very quiet and you barely see people on the streets besides the guards. Uh, compared to like the quite bustling city that you entered uh, maybe like the day before. This for this is quite solemn and almost like a a very very different from what you would expect. And the, and the locals are shut in. You can the for the people that you do see they speak in harsh whispers. Right. And uh, is there any in indication that they are looking for anyone in particular? Like is that whole searching thing still going on? Actually, when I leave the Castle, uh, not even going to say anything. No, the guard them, the guards themselves are very preoccupied with other business right at, at, at this point. In fact, your after the events of last night, your room isn't even under guard anymore. That is not a priority for them. Uh, what you've noticed is that they have actually transferred a lot of the force over to the walls, uh, where repair work is being done. Extensive repair work is being done. Uh, you can see a lot of them are actually like uh, uh, kind of like moving men around, getting bricks, uh, stone blocks in place, and kind of like using pulley systems to kind of like get them up onto the walls. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Because that's where a large bulk of the force, from what you can tell, is being deployed. Uh, as for searching, they don't seem to be searching actively. But every now and then, you can see that the patrols uh, around the city have been doubled. Interesting. Okay. Mm. Sorry, so I you... wanted to ask also, what are we going to do with the circle? Because now they are like working together with Iridesa, right? I don't think they are necessarily an enemy. I think working with Iridesa is more like a means to an end. I know, but clearly she must be using them for something. Yeah, I don't... I, I think... Let me find out what's going on, and if I can't... Like, it's not... Honestly, I don't know if... I might like, even know what's going on. Especially if this... It is, like, disregarding the might of map. You know, you've heard Atomine make fun of map and things like that. So... I feel like either way, we're not really ready to mess with Iridesa or like in any position to like no bargain with her and things like that. So uh, as for the circle, I mean, you know, they're not gonna... You think we should warn them if you can even contact Mama Marie right now? She's supposed to be laying low. Uh, I don't even know if they will side with us. Not so much a matter of siding, but I feel like even if they believed us that, oh, you know, the aid are dangerous, they will be like, yeah, but they're the only ones helping us right now. That's true. I, I mean... I guess it's... 
Doesn't matter to them. Mm -hmm. It's more of what we're gonna do about it. Are we still gonna try and help them? Or just, you know, be neutral about it? I, I, I feel like I wanna help them still because Bastion is treating them totally unfairly. Like they don't deserve this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, let's think of them as separate from the. Right. And then whether they have mm. allies or enemies is not really. Yeah, we can advise them, but mm. their leadership to decide. They had no one else to kind of help them, right? So maybe they chose the carbon because they were willing to help. Even if. Whether they know or not, like what's going on. <coughs> At least they kind of have a reason to do so. Okay. Okay, sorry. Please continue. Yes, I feel you... You venture out for about an hour and you don't... Na manage to find a place of natural beauty uh, within... Uh, the city. The closest thing you do find, however, is a, a herbalist store which... Uh, well, while there's no, it's not a place of natural beauty itself. You do see plants growing in and around the store. I I feel like that won't do, especially mm. if uh, it's gonna be like people walking around and like signs. Mm. Mm. Would it be uh, extremely inconvenient for me to leave the city at this time? No. So then I would just yeah, then I'll just head out. Um, I'll, I'll burn this. Oh, I can't summon a magical mount here. <laughs> you um, can. Whether or not, not you can deal with the consequences is a different thing. Why, why not? You're going to leave the city, right? I'll just... In the interest of time, I'll just move quickly to the gates. Okay. Yeah, and... Um, the gates are... As you approach the, the main gates of the city, they are damaged right. uh, because of the attack last night. And you can see almost like one one half of the gate is like completely ajar. They have removed, they have, they have kind of like shifted it aside. So there's like a gap where people are just like, uh, there are like people who are like kind of streaming in and out, like workers and everything. Mm. So it's relatively easy to kind of like pass through yeah. without getting noticed. I'll, I'll stop, I'll stop like one of the absolutely most random dudes who's like probably not even doing not even the right person i'll be like i'll give him a very serious face with him good sir if i'm not back within half an hour just just go about your day you know walk off oh uh, what the fuck <laughs> huh i just leave him uh exiting the city itself uh what do you make me a survival check? Damn. Fantastic. Fantastic. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so irritating. <laughs> it isn't necessarily easy to find. I mean, there's plenty of nature around. Uh, but it's quite difficult for you to find a place of beauty with uh, amidst this swamp. Yeah, it's not it, exactly the most serene. It's of not. Places. It's yes. It's not exactly the the most like uh serene or calming of of places, and uh most of what you see is is very kind of like desolate or or quite depressing, honestly. Uh, however. Uh, as you move further away from the city, you do notice that behind the city, uh, as you turn back from, uh, are you on your mount? No. No, I'm just on okay, foot. Just I walking guess. on yeah. foot. So after maybe like 30, 45 minutes, and you kind of turn back, you look back at the city, you do notice that there appears to be green trees mm. that are growing behind the city. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I would be pretty reckless uh, in terms of like 
uh, not really paying attention it to my own not safety. The, yeah, it's not the usual swamp-like trees. It's more of the evergreen trees of the mm. forest that you are used to. Yeah, I'm. I'm not going to like question or have any kind of self preservation. I think I'm like single mindedly focused on leaving the noise of the construction behind. And okay. Just, like going as deep as I have to. Are you going to go around the city, or you want to go through the city to get there? Would it be faster if I rode around then? You, you can do whatever you would like. Okay, I'll expand the spell slot to bring. Uh, reason. And then I'll just ride around. Okay. That is so my... you kind of work, you work your way around. Make me a perception check. Please. Oh, I can't. I, have to, I don't have to prepare. So I'll just have to go. On foot? Yeah. On foot is about another hour or so. Sure, I okay. guess. Okay. So making your way all the way around the city to the northern side. You can see that the vegetation grows quite thick and there are almost these uh, razor vines that are covering these these like large evergreen trees. Uh, as you kind of make your way through, you can hear almost the sound of the forest kind of shifts. The insects that buzz and hum are different from those in the swamp. Uh, these glades themselves are almost silent, if you will. All you hear are the sounds of animals and insects, where in the swamp you will often hear the sounds of uh, humans moving around sometimes. Hmm. Uh, you can see kind of like a, a random fox that scurries past. Something hmm. that you have not seen in a very very long time yeah. uh, there is a path a winding path that kind of meanders northward almost breaking up into a climbing point about maybe f two three hundred feet ahead of you what would you like to do um i'll, I'll follow the path and i'll slow down my <laughs> pace i think <clears throat> You, you follow the path and you get to a point where you can see that the vines themselves obscure your view and it almost seems like a necessary it like it is necessary for you to scale to climb, mm, uh, climb. What, what am I climbing vines up a, a rock or yep like a rocky surface mm, I suppose I'll, I'll climb yeah You kind of slowly scale upwards. Let's pull up the map. Map. Because died out. Mine are uh, mad juju Equals right now, by the way. Adventure. Yeah. Oh, I feel like vines are bad juju. Very true. Add that to the list of shit that we shouldn't touch. Yeah. Oh, man. Stealth check, please, I feel. Oh, coming in when I need it. Oh, that's the wrong button. Yeah, stealth is uh, up there. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you... Kind of like... Climb up for about 15 minutes or so. And then there's this small crawl space that you kind of push yourself through slightly. When you do emerge from this small... Is, the, is it dark for everybody else? Yeah. yeah. It's dark for me yes. as well. Or you meet you much from this small cavern. All right. Uh, in front of you, you do see what appears to. I don't be see a, a map, by the way. It's gray. It's gray background. Gray background. I, I see, see the it. token, but I I don't see any background. You want to refresh? I refreshing. Yeah, it's a gray background to me. I I see I see the tokens lah. Why well, I don't see the background. You don't see the background, that's strange. You should try refresh. Anyway, let me explain to you what I see. Yes. In front of you, separating you and what appears to be a large, uh, extremely large winged vine dragon. Okay. Uh, it's a large pool. 
uh, in it you can see what appears to be the remnants of a large tree. Remnants? remnants. Oh, like the, almost like the dragon was cut from the tree. Uh, if you will, yes. The, oh, the, the dragon itself, now. yes, the dragon itself appears to be resting. There is a almost like audible. You can hear almost like, like a puff of green smoke emerge from its uh, nostrils as it kind of breathes out. Its eyelids are closed. And it's lying on its side. Okay, is there treasure nearby? Uh, it does not appear to be any treasure. Alright, I'm leaving. <laughs> Anything else to it notice? It is a beautiful grove. <laughs> Uh, you can do you do see almost these beautiful kind of like insects which are almost have luminescent bulbs for bodies flying around in flittering in and out of the grove. Okay, so I I will like okay first of all in the the rest of the scene is there anything of note or is it really just a dragon resting? It is a dragon resting in a giant grove. Okay, nothing else in the grove. No. No maidens trapped in thorns. No, no. women and children. All right. No, well, lower myself back, so out of sight first. Okay. Took my back to the vine wall or whatever I've been inclined okay, I've been to the climbing. Cave wall. Yes. I'll be like, <sighs> try not to think of the dragon. This is not the serene commune that I was expecting, but um, feels like we can connect to the fair wall from here. It will have to do. Uh, I had this like in my mind. I had this like a uh, plea to the Queen Mother, but it's all coming out of the home. Need help? Who's uh, Iridessa? What's happening? It's not. It's not a one-off. It's a whole farewell in chaos. Um. Also, who's Lyra? Okay, Dragon. I gotta go. I should lower myself all the way. Okay. Don't know if that worked. Don't really care. Got to go. You don't have to make a check for this usually, right? No, yeah. Okay. At you... the DM's discretion. Mm. Uh, this place, you do feel, as you kind of lower yourself down and you kind of focus, even though it is hard, and you can hear the heavy breath of a dragon mere maybe a hundred feet away. Uh, it is, but once you kind of like focus your thoughts, and you calm your breaths down. You do feel like this place is very in, in tune with the lands of which you are very familiar with. Uh, as your kind of like breath slows and your kind of eyes and your ears and your nose start to feel strange sensations, a uh, calming aroma of mint and lavender kind of like slowly seeps or into your nostrils you feel almost like the feels of wheat and grass around your hands for a brief second i'm gonna put you into the art channel for a while okay tanya I'm totally lost as to what's going on already. Same. <sighs> How do we even get out? We can't leave without the guides. And the guides are not there. I guess if we just keep walking in one direction for long enough, we'll be out of swamp. <laughs> yeah, but remember how like the guards like they went down this meandering path like in some a lot a lot of fox in the road all right and then there were like mosquitoes everywhere and the bugs everywhere Uh, Yuri, there's a... Uh... I hope we get something useful. We 
every time Cypher talked to Titania, there wasn't anything useful, right? Was there? Uh... Don't seem to remember anything that really stood out. Yeah, but I think it's just like in just general info that guide us to our next step. Which is good enough, I guess. Got me. I feel like Lyra is more information. <laughs> True. Lyra just just straightforward give me shit. <laughs> oh, when was the last time I first spoke to a sleeping? Was it the Grey Cloak Hills? Oh, damn, that's super long ago. It was then, right? Okay. The only, that's the only other place I remember that had a place of beauty. Did he speak to Titania in, when we went to the... Uh, near my hometown, near Bowery. There was that little grove. Oh, wait, yeah, right. The one where... People go to escape. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Why? What did he spoke to the Tatiana there for? I I can't remember if he spoke to Tatiana there. Uh, might not have. It. I don't remember that. Unless it was something to do with like, cause we we didn't know where to go. Like we didn't know which direction was right. Yeah. <sighs> it's okay. We just wait for wait for camp. When are we gonna level up? <laughs> Alright, no, we have to go fight that vine dragon first, I guess. I don't mind fighting the vine dragon. Yeah, just ask Isuya to burn it. Vine should burn pretty well. <laughs> hey, wait, we didn't short rest after we came back, right? Only Vervan got long rest, right? Yep, I, I mean I got a long rest, not sure about you guys. Oh, I guess not we, yet. We short rest before we came back. Because we ran out of resources after fighting the... Oh. The two guards. I guess we would have rested, right? No, I think we reached back just in time for Bourbon to be awake. Oh yeah, then there's no time to do anything. No... No guess, fighting. I guess we could rest now while... while Seyfried's doing his stuff. Good point. Up an hour is all we need, right? <laughs> yeah. Decide to stay in for a long breakfast. Taking quite a while. That means it's a, a lot long of conversation with a lot of information. That's good, that's good. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hey. This. Oh, I thought it's... Jibated. 
Man, I thought it was the two heroes. <laughs> what's this? Okay, just a coin. Stop it. How, how do you do that? <laughs> oh, where's that from? Oh, I think this one's gonna be annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were spamming it, so please don't. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why, why got shouting one? That's me when I cleared Toy T.O.P. <laughs> oh, that was actually you? Yeah, that's, that's what? me. <laughs> Clear ultimate. How come you can have like different sounds one? Then I only have six sounds. Cause he's a nitro person. Oh, yeah, are you, are nitro you a nitro boy? Is it is that how you get the other server stuff? I actually didn't know I know idea that this soundboard button is new to me. <laughs> I'm not used to it before. This <laughs> 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 crossing <laughs> shit. I love that. I love. I freaking disgusting love that. Shit. I love disgusting that. Disgusting shit. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. Now I want to. I love that draw so much. It's causing shots. So good. I love that scene. <laughs> it is them cool air yeah, like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so good. No. <laughs> when Not when we base that stupid air horn sound, all I think of is the two anyone fire song. <laughs> Fire song. Really? Eh, 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 oh, yeah. eh, eh, to anyone. It's <laughs> the only got, song. Got, got air horn meh? Why don't you remember? It's the first, the beginning of the song is. Okay, okay, I, I get it, I get it. <laughs> okay, understand, it is understand. so cute, I love it. This is a genius invention. Oh my god, okay, okay, I'm, I'm done, I'm okay. How do you add song? You add need song. to have admin server privileges admin access. access. Enable more fun reactions with Nitro. <laughs> How about no? What's happening? Uh? Why, why, why are they in private conversation? Have we a very discussing, serious talk? Discussing about... how we're gonna res you. <laughs> why, what, what has happened? So, we, are we still in the castle discussing whether or not we want to meet what's her face? Yes, That's we where are. we left off, right? No, we're, we're, we're still in the, ca we're still in we the found castle. The, no, we found the Vine Dragon. And unfortunately, an accident happened. Huh? You don't lie. We found the Vine Dragon. What do you mean? You it's so huge. Like, we already knew where we had to find it. What do you mean by find it? Like, we went out of our room and then... As in, we didn't... <laughs> mean to find it, it's just we just stumbled upon upon it. But then okay, so we ended off back in our rooms where we got like the bird message from what's her face, right? That's yeah. where we ended. So we yeah. are in the process of discussing whether or not we want to meet her or we've had that discussion already. Uh we had already. Okay. Then we left our rooms so to go and find so like, what's going is, on. Yeah the plan is Cypher will go and talk to Titania but for that we need to find a place of natural beauty oh, uh -huh, guess what uh -huh. else is in a place of natural beauty the fey wow <laughs> wait what the the vine dragon why is that a place of it's not it's an unnatural thing if anything it wouldn't be something that oh no you asked the DM <laughs> oh my god so did we meet anyone oh did we I thought we said we wanted to go and find the what's his name the high high Guard, what is name? High blade. Ah uh ah. -uh. Yeah, we will, we will. Oh, okay, not yet. Uh. Okay. Okay, no lah. Cypher is there now, but we did find the vine dragon. <laughs> he did find the vine dragon. Araso. Okay, hello. hello. Okay, give me a second. You cut cake. Huh? Okay. Okay. 
Okay. We run. We jump back to the other five who are speaking to high sure. first. Sure. Yeah. I will fill you all in. Exciting things. Okay. okay. Wait, but, 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 but I thought we needed that information to decide what we're gonna <clears throat> stay or do. No. Uh. Just She's go cut cake. Just go cut cake. Yes. He's gone already. Okay, then we continue first then. Hey, you can do whatever you want, but because Cypher is only going to return in the evening. Oh no, shit, I don't think we will need. We have that long, right? He's literally going to be out for three quarters of the day on his little excursion. Where did he go? Only he knows. Find a, to find a place of natural beauty, that's all we oh, know. Oh, that's all the. Oh, okay. So he just left the castle? Like, just walked out? Yeah, he walked out without telling anybody. Well, he told us. No, he did say he was going to find somewhere, but he said he would. He was very reckless about it and he just walked out. With the vine thing on the gate, he just walked out? He was gone already. Oh, he... Divine Dragon Siege was over already, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh, is it? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, so what um... would you like to do in the time that he's away first? <sighs> Are we going to speak to Highblade? Do we want well, to do it without it, him so, though? So the plan was to at least inform the Highblade, you know, we, we found out who's behind all this, right? And it's totally... I mean, in their, to their benefit to aid Avereska in the, the war against the Mask Elves. Uh. So there should be no reason um, why they... Okay. And, we, and we will say how we came about this information is through the prisoner that we were interrogating that combusted into uh, I mean, a sludge. was the one that combusted yeah. her. Right? Okay, la. okay. Okay. Well, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, so it's in their best interest to aid us now that we know who their enemies are. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay with that. Okay. If you go over to if you on the five of you who are in the castle, uh go and try to find the high blade and you do not find that he is in his office speaking to what appears to be two other guards kind of like as you if you walk in you overhear that he's basically giving direction on how to kind of like if you will uh deal with the vine dragon situation from the previous night so he's talking about uh speaking to some of the residents who live near the walls and asking how they're doing uh, kind of like storing up supplies, uh, ensuring that the wall is repaired within the week and all, so on and so forth. Does he sound very like concerned? Yeah, or is it just like uh, you know this happens um, so often? It's just like a run of the mill situation, or he's like fuck, 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 you know that kind of thing. He does sound concerned, reasonably concerned. But as far as we know, this is not. Uh, new. Yeah, it's not a new or unique occurrence, right? Fine. Because they yeah, we yeah. overheard them saying that all oh, yeah. the dragon. It has act. happened. Yeah, it has. Uh, from what you under, from what you heard, you know that it has happened before. What we heard, what, did we know when was the last time? No. No. Uh, after seeing you, the two guards will excuse themselves and have late will turn to the five of you. Uh, not five of you, the four of you. Uh, yes, can I help the four of you? Um, House High Inquisitor Octavia. Uh, well, the healers have said that she will probably be ready to get back to her duties within the next two days. So, it's good news. Uh, the wounds were not as, uh, as well, not as grievous as we thought they would be. Uh, all in all, uh, and she's really itching to get back to work, so 
when he said her wounds weren't as grievous as they were meant to be, did he seem like he was like, ah crap, or like, genuinely just, like pleased that she she's like doing better she's not genuinely pleased or he didn't seem like very invested in her being being wounded or is it just like a normal way of speaking just like normally yeah. spoke normally so uh do i owe the privilege of speaking to four ambassadors today so Thanks to your permission to interrogate the prisoner. We have oh, yeah. yes. who was behind basically everything. Vine Dragon, Covens, the assassination. Mm. Well, it, it is indeed the mask elves that Everaska is fighting against. The very one we need your aid. Against the very one you need, our Inquisitor Octavius it against. Oh. Are you not Best aligned? I well, let's just say if it was up to me, I would have already signed that notice without having five of you travel over here. Can I inside track that? Sure. Yeah, seems to be telling the truth. Okay. Unfortunately, it is not entirely up to me. In fact, the decision is quite out of my hands you need her signature not mine and with that you get complications her way of thinking is wouldn't say flawed but different do you know why she's hesitant or reluctant to lend us aid? She's very self... She's very much about self-preservation. And... To be quite honest... And this, on this point, I do agree with her. Everesca has not... Provided us any aid... For... For as long as I can remember my entire lifetime this is the first time I've heard of Everescan ambassadors visiting us so why do you need our help now? well I can't speak for Everescan's past actions but clearly now we are fighting a common en enemy one that, that is obviously uh, on that I do understand. Yes, and, and I do you... trust that your information is accurate. I won't go so far as to certify it myself. Okay, I'm back. Confirm it myself. You need to understand that I may be easy to convince, but she will not be that easy to convince. What can we do to convince her? Just also, I guess not, not to pry or not to be rude, but is there a reason why she's so... Was there a traumatic incident that happened to her before that made her so against like the use of the M word? Like, is, is that... I just... I mean, she... You are off... Ah, I don't know how to... It's hard for me to comprehend, of course, because of where I come from. And all the other places that we have visited as ambassadors, there, there is very much... It's, it's, it seems a very natural thing, in a way, to, to have... You know, use of at least basic, right? Yeah. 
so is there a reason why she's just so closed or like not open-minded towards having that conversation or or fighting evil with evil right like if they are using if they have access to this power uh, parents were killed in a tragic magical accident when she was young she was orphaned taken on as a ward of the high inquisition and raised as the high inquisitor's daughter under his tutelage she was warped if you will the love she once had for her parents was turned to disgust and hate as he planted ideas in her mind that magic was the reason why they left her in this world why they died they, she started to believe they were twisted monsters who practiced dark magic and as she grew older she started becoming the fanatic that you see devoted to the high inquisition's cause working her way through the ranks and after the death of her adopted father she was raised to high inquisitor as the heir. What position were her parents, like, did her parents have for the High Inquisitor to manipulate her thoughts in such a way? I believe she was a for lowly station in life. I'm not sure why exactly the former High Inquisitor took her in as well, but he did. And this is the way of, the way that the events have unfolded. Okay, well... I think we can all agree that the enemy that... The common enemy as my... Uh... I going to say colleague, that's so weird. <laughs> my, my... Friend here has uh, mentioned... Um, they, they are very powerful in the arcane. And it is very likely that fighting them would require use of the arcane as well. So I I think your stance on that is pretty clear. You know, you understand the you reason why it needs to be used, but at the same time, why it needs to be hidden from her. <clears throat> we are here to help, really. How, however, we can. But I think using the arcane will help us get them faster, a little bit, tiny bit. If you would like to operate outside the jurisdiction of the law, you are free to do so outside of the city with my permission. Listen, uh, my permission, meaning in secret. Mm. Whatever you do in the city, I cannot give you my word that it will not be caught. Yeah. <clears throat> this incident that happened. Overnight, it's, it's certainly the first I've ever saw of something like that. Is this, I don't know, a regular occurrence? Like, is it all... It's the third time we've seen this dragon, and it's it is relatively new to the region. Mm. We've not had to deal with something quite so serious before in... We are working on some tech to fight it off, but it's not quite ready yet. Uh, he kind of pulls out a scroll from the cupboard and sets it down on the table, kind of flattens it out. We call it the Dragon Slayer Cannon. 
变 RPG，RPG 嘛、嗯， RPG 对吧？ You see this almost like huge fucking cannon. It is designed to contain four shells. I don't know、uh, what you're talking about. It's clearly a rice cooker. <laughs> each, each shell itself is almost like a inert <clears throat> ballista. If it hits the dragon, we will have enough force, hopefully, to pull it down to the ground where we can easily take it on. Damn, uh, unfortunately, we're still in the process of research and development.、Mm. We haven't quite had enough time to、uh, let's just say that the events recently have been stalling our、uh, development process, and with each attack having to devote. More and more people to repairing the walls and so on and so forth. It's just putting us behind schedule. And what of the cook? Did you manage to find him? He's not in the city. I have men looking, but when you spend a、uh, almost an entire day looking. You devote your entire guard, search every house, don't find him. It's most likely he's fled.、Mm. Is there any relationship Bastian has with Chot? You, you, my fucking honest, honestly, I've never even heard of the city.、Mm. Any, any clue how the cook got out of the city? Seems pretty difficult to go out before their exits guarded. If you know how these fox have been escaping the city, I would greatly appreciate a tip off because he's not the only one that's been escaping, and I would like to shut down this network. So sorry. So he he's from Chot. Did, did we ascertain that as much? Like he comes from the city. I have heard the word being thrown around. Around yes. I wonder who placed him there then. Who who was who hired him? Like if if Chot is is so far off and you know I, I would assume most of the staff here are are, are local. Uh, well, he's not been. In truth, for a while he was here since he was a child.、Supposedly. I see.、Oh, okay. Um. Well, we will. Ah.、Uh, I guess we will need to wait for High Inquisitor to to be up and about and.、Uh, It's ready to have a conversation, and we can take、yeah. it from there, I guess. Let me、uh, get back to you when she's、uh, ready to have an audience with the four of you. In the meantime,、uh, perhaps stay safe and don't get yourselves in trouble.、Mm. We can go in and out of the castle. That's okay, right? I don't see a reason to lock the five of you down.、Um, okay. At this point,、uh, I have more pressing issues to worry about than protecting five ambassadors.、Uh, what about the city? Is it okay if we leave for a bit?、Uh, dude, seriously, you do whatever you want as long as you, if you end up dead in a ditch somewhere, just don't point the finger at me. Does、okay. that mean we can have our items back?、Or? Sorry, what? Yes,、up? and、uh, yes and no. Off the record, yes. On the record, no. So essentially, just don't use it within the city, outside the city, 
whatever goes. I will have them placed outside of the city. You can get them at muscle. Oh, okay. How do we get to muscle? There's a teleportation circle <laughs> within the city. Yeah, well. Okay. Saw that coming, but okay. good to know it's confirmed. New waypoint unlocked. <laughs> Safe point. You Check. Safe come to me. You come to me when you need to leave the city or have your items ready and shipped over ahead of time. And I'll bring you to the circle myself. It is off the record. Circle is outside High Inquisitor. Of the city? No. No, it's, it's in the city. Right? In the city, yes. So couldn't we just take our stuff here and then go through the portal so you don't have to do the whole shipping thing? Like we can just take it out. You know what I mean? Like, I do not so want five people walking into the power of blades and then walking out. It's very, <coughs> very much obvious. It's easier if I ship it ahead of time. Okay. And again, off the record, the High Inquisitor does not know about this teleportation circle. Right. Thank you this much. You see. Alright, uh, look after yourselves, and uh, if there's nothing else, I need to speak to the two men outside. Please send them in again when you're ready. Sorry, is there a library here? Uh, we do have a library in the Tower of Blades. Why do you ask? Just uh, maybe we'd like to read up a bit of uh, history, get to understand how High Inquisitor was brought up so that we can, you know, I careful. Do you like speak. documentation on High Inquisitor Lafont will be uh, very sparse? How about her adoptive father? Equally sparse. But anything would help. Let's just say historians didn't document their lives or their rule, if you will, mm -hmm. because they were told not to document their lives and rule. I see. Okay. He thanks you, then kind of like ushers you out the door, gets the two guards back in, and closes the door behind you. Okay. Yes, we'll go back to our rooms and wait for Cypher to reappear. A few hours later, Cypher appears. We're looking extremely worn and haggard. Do you hear all that, Shin? No, I don't know what happened. About why Octavia is so I I missed what was his explanation for okay. the men and for the men what men like the men gathering in the courtyard. Oh, we did not ask that, but I assume that they were trying to look for the cook. But then, cause during the conversation, he did mention like you know they 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 round up all the guards and went through the city looking for him. But then it appears that he has. Fled oh my god! City. But that was before any of the shit happened. They were already gathering to move. Come on, guys! That the oh. one thing I asked I, I was about. not wrong. I went to the toilet. Sorry. <laughs> Could we retcon and ask him that question then? Because I genuinely, I did not, I did, I was not part of the. Yeah, but Sunny and Sean were there. <laughs> I mean, I would have asked if I know, and I really, I genuinely did not, did not, did not. Well, we can just go just... down to the courtyard and ask the guards, right? <laughs> it will be no red corn this time. Oh man, I'm sorry. But 
uh, essentially the reason why Octavia hates magic so much is because her parents got killed and she was orphaned by some magical accident and then she got adopted by the then High Inquisitor and basically grew up like under him and he like kind of warped her perception of like her parents abandoned her because they were like practicing magic or something like that like it ju- just gave her a very warped view of like magic is horrible terrible like it should be annihilated you know that kind of vibe so i, I guess she has grown as she's grown old- older she's become more like a fanatic about it wait then so that's the reason why she's so and then her adoptive parents were the one that the high, the, the high inquisitor before her la. Then yeah, when yeah. she so passed away, she became. She's the one that requested that her family history not be recorded. He also him. He like all, all their histories are very sparsely recorded. Like even his own. Like basically, don't write anything about us. Like it's secret. So I don't know why, what his motivation was, like why he wanted to warp her perception that way. But yeah, there's something to, to I guess, note. And it doesn't seem like she'll be very open to the use of magic anyway, since this has happened three times. This vine dragon thing. And, you know, she just, just magic is a no-no, basically. Did Pam change into a shirt? I have no idea. Are you changing the shirt? I'm not the only one who needed coffee today, okay? (laughs) It's raining this the whole evening. Oh. I only just noticed. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I blame your handsome face, can only focus on that. Can you focus oh, no. on the question that you're supposed to ask, please? I I would have. I wasn't there. No. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious, right? Because the cloaks are not common, and they probably have detect magic running. So it's like, oh, by the way, some bad shit's happening. Better, better get the man ready. Like, okay, okay, better get the man ready. Probably. Okay. I'll ask him when I see him. Probably nothing nefarious. Like, I mean, he seems like a pretty chill guy. Just sick of his, his zoomer boomer mission in life. Boomer like boss who doesn't all understand right. technology and magic. All right, I'm mm. glad you all like That's him. True. Because That's we all, true. because we 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 don't have anyone else to turn to. I found out the. <sighs> okay, what? so. Where do you go, by the way? <sighs> you found your place of natural beauty. Found. I'll, I'll do you one better. I found the uh, lair of the vine dragon. He was taking a nap. So the vine dragon is not like uh, it's not like an apparition. It's like an actual being. But an apparition <laughs> destroyed all the walls as it came in. I don't know her magic. She could be really. I mean, I'm sure she's really powerful. Whatever well, her name is. Alright, it's a living, breathing being okay. that apparently needs to sleep as well. Okay. So, yeah, that's one. Okay. Uh, That's the bad news. It's just north of the city. Okay. Uh, the good news is that it's. Not like a real dragon. It's a vine dragon. So, so if we burn it, it will die. We could probably take it on. Five of us. Does it have treasure? No. <laughs> its treasure is the forest. It's, it's treasure if you don't fucking die in your beds tonight. From a mm. torn attack. Alright, so that was the bad news and the good news. Here's the worst news. What was the good news? Good news is that it's not a real dragon, so it doesn't have treasure. Wait, that's also bad news. All right, let's keep uh, let's keep focus. Okay, we're losing we're losing the plot. Listen. Apparently, the ape. Okay, no, we need to we need to go back further. 
need to rewind. So apparently, these Arc Fae in the Fae Wild, they don't really have like jobs and all that stuff like you and I, right? Like working, working contributors to society. So the way they spend their time is that they organize themselves into these courts. That is the court of winter. That is the court of summer. Court of spring. Uh, presumably the ill-fated court of fall, which is a weird name. Where does the silly court fall in this, by the way? <laughs> okay. That is the court of summer. The summer court. That is Titania's court. Wait, is this news to you? Haven't you been working for... No, no, this is news to you. Okay. Giving, uh, this is like me starting from the beginning. Right. I so yeah, these factions in the Feywild, and apparently, um, my uh, arch nemesis, because as I remind you, I'm important enough in this story to have an arch nemesis, Map belongs to the Court of Winter. And she has gone missing. He's the fact, one that has your soul or something? Yeah, well, we don't talk about that, but let's, we're, moving, we're moving past that, we're moving past that. Okay. Right, so she's gone missing along with the entire Court of Winter. M missing, yeah. as in? No, not really missing. They know where she went, so she's not really missing, but she's missing from her court. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. So then, there is this new court called the Court of Hollows. That has taken over the court of winter, and then they have left the court of winter to come to the material plane, and then they have map. So map is an unwilling party in this scenario. That is correct. Where they okay map? So the court left, of... and then the court of hollows formed and. No, the Court of Hollows formed, and then Map left. Except she didn't really leave. She was taken. Alright, try to keep up, alright? So the Court of Hollows is a this new thing? Paywall thing. Confusing. It's yes, like, it's not are they, are they really made up of people who have already existed in like... No, the Court of Hollows have been around for a long time. Okay. It's just that they have recently revealed themselves. The Court of Hollows is probably the eight. Okay. And what are the Archfey doing? Like, just fuck all? Essentially. It seems like, I mean, this is happening in their own backyard, but like, doesn't seem like they're doing anything about it. Oh. They are doing as much as Avareska is doing about the situation. Just one thing. Which is uh, finding out more information. So, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, the Court of Hollows showed up, and then now they are in the material, except they are not really in the material. They still remain in the Feywell, but they transverse the material with these second bodies with which they put their hearts into. Not metaphorically, like literally, they put their hearts into it and then they walk around. That's why we have one of these. Mm -hmm. So if we were to stab the heart, she would die there too? No, 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 no. I was no. given specific instructions to bring the heart to the Fae Wow put it in the original body and then step the heart. Wait, wait, okay. So, they are all just comatose in the fair realm? I presume, is that, yes. Is that yes. what's happening? So, they're all unconscious, they're all just like lying in a pile and like their body, their heart is somewhere out here in but our I, plane. I don't know if it's a pile necessarily. Yeah, well, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, they're just there. Like, yeah. Not... Yeah. So, So can while while they are 
unconscious in the Fey realm and I like, guess walking about here and doing their shit, is it possible for the other courts to like take the bodies? Like yes, the hearts don't have, but like they just you know take them ransom in a way and have like hey you know we have your bodies now, so if you ever want to die and you come back like you're fuck you know what I mean? Probably, but who's gonna tell them to do that? I did live there. Ah. <sighs> do we know what does this court of hollows want? What's their no. goal? No one knows. Titania doesn't know. But what? What were they like? Okay, so like all the courts' names are quite self-explanatory, you know, like summer, winter, some, blah, blah. I forgot some details. Like, like there is no winter in the Feywild anymore. The, the, the concept of winter just upped and left. Uh huh. huh? Yeah, that that was. Mean, wait, that doesn't mean anything to us, though. It doesn't mean anything to me as well. I just thought I'd repeat it. <laughs> what I was told, man. Okay. You mean it's no longer cold there? I suppose so. I've been repeating Court of Hollows to myself for the past five minutes. I do not get it. Like hollow as in hollow, like a hollowed out tree hollow. Yeah, well, I feel um, like my brain like is a, hollow right now. Like uh, their hearts left their body, so they're hollow. Um... Oh, that is... Oh, that's wow. a good... That's a really wow. good... Wow! <laughs> fantastic! <laughs> that is fantastic! You get a gold star! <laughs> wow! So, this is something that happened recently? Like the... the like, how the recently? Because time is weird in the Fey realm, right? So, yeah, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it, like, like us when... recently? Or, like, not us recently? Nah, I wasn't given any specific timelines, but I would... I was. I, I imagine it's approximately two hours ago. Oh, okay. So it's it's you know, current events, recently. Yeah, yeah. Nobody. Yeah. Well, it would probably align with the time that I met you. Oh yeah, which is the other detail. Like um. So yeah, the guy with the diamond. It's like maps under control in the Caesarian Palace in Log, and it's gonna have to go there at some point. Yeah. Could you could you <laughs> Sorry, sorry, we're, we're past that. No? Go back a little bit. No? Wait, so what's how about this butterfly shit? Like is butterfly map or not map? What? I don't know, like you said if you want to see is King Illitid. What? The what? The king's name is King Illitid. Who's no, it's Iritil. Like like the eight the eight? You mean the eight yes. king? You mean the one that King of the Court of Hollows with the word uh, he's also been bullying people on the Feywild with the word, so it's not just your brother. He's been using it liberally over there. Which is probably why the other courts are not like, hey, let's go take their pile of bodies because, you know, then they'll get... They'll get fucked. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. How about the message you received, Typhrit? Who was that from? What message? The one... The child handed to you. It's been a lot of children and a lot of messages. Mm. You're going to have to be more specific. Okay, let me see if I. Have but it. I showed it to you, right? Oh, I did show it to you. Yeah, that, I mean, that is from whoever's in the. Whoever's in lock. Which I assume. Is going to be one of the Court of Hollows. So, yes, yeah, bad news all around. Like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So my conclusion, I know we've spoken at length about this, but my conclusion is, under no circumstance do we lose this heart. Yeah. I.e., we are not going to meet Iridessa and give her this heart. Yes. So we, we are, are just not meeting her, correct? Yes, we will meet a vine creature and destroy it. Ah. Uh. Further incurring her wrath so that she'll come after us, then that is. Yeah, in her thick ass body. You scared of a thick ass body, Celia? I'm just saying. <laughs> Ain't looking too good at the moment, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do we even know what she looks like? I don't know. 
probably blonde, like. Oh. I'm sure we we'll figure it out. So okay, so she's the queen, yeah. Queen Iridessa, then King Irithiel, and then Bishop Etherwine, and then uh -huh. who's the the her? What is Etherwine's sister? Lucina. Yeah, but like, what is her? What is her? Does she is she She's one of the eight? Other bishop. Oh wait, the other bishop. Okay. So who are we? Who are the other four that we're missing? Is that two bishops? Yes. How do we know there's two bishops? I mean, unless you have a fucked up chessboard. Dude, I don't play chess. So. <laughs> Guys, what the fuck? The drawing has like they're in pair, so. The, 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 it's all coming together. It's called so coming king, together. King, queen, two bishops, two knights, and two rooks. Mm -hmm. two okay. Mini ashtrays. <laughs> <laughs> so we know the king, the queen, the bishops. So now we need to know the knights. I mean, we don't need to know. I mean, we essentially know like the the the. The knight is in lock. people. The knight, knight is, is what? In lock? The knight is probably the one who's summoned me. Okay, why? Also, why? is this new information that we are just receiving? It's not! It's not! It's not! It's new to them. Does the, does the knight have a name? No, I'm just, just a guess. Just guess. Okay, so there are two knights and two rooks that we have yet to identify. I feel like but this, this person right. has the black diamond or some shit, right? Mm hmm. And you don't know who has it. Well, it's whoever has map, right? Whole oh, shit doesn't work with maps not around. Arc Nemesis is how it works. So if, she, map is if map eight. dies, it's in... Will you die? Don't know. Never tried it. Is map one of the eight? No. No, she's... Seems like she has relieved of her post by the end. <laughs> okay. And I guess you got all this information from I I I, 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 I was I was I... <laughs> sorry. No uh Yeah, uh, Bert told me. My memories are fuzzy, okay? It's not easy to remember, like, exactly what happens in the day while you come back and you're like, Oh, where am I? What time is it? What year is it? So, the best, best I can, best I can do is... Hmm. I like how we know more, but we still don't know anything, so let's, let's <laughs> Well, the bottom line is we know who to trust now. Jeez? Not Iridessa. I mean, obviously, yeah. But it was, wasn't that obvious this morning. Yeah, I mean, it was... What do you mean? Like, it... it why? The moment she said, eh, you can't bring my daughter's heart, like, fuck off, you know what I mean? We're not doing that. We're not giving up the only piece of leverage we have over this stupid situation, like... Okay. Oh, I forgot yet another detail. Later is not an arc fee. The, 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 the lady in the swamp? No. Oh my god, it's Sylvia. It's in the face. <laughs> Just not like gonna take that lying down. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! I, I, I'm used to her other name. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, so she's probably not tangled up in all this. I don't know. Maybe she's the knight. But no, I was, uh, probably not. Okay. Hmm. You know what? Let's just try to speak with Octavia. Okay, and if she doesn't up want up to character. sign, like, wait, let's wait. just fuck off from this city and then up go up. find the vine dragon and burn it. Out of character, did we not have information from before that Neloan slash Lyra is not a deity? Was that the words used? 
I don't think it was so much not a deity, but just that she has something to do with like the 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 illusion people. The miss the shadow. The miss yes, yeah. That that was it. That that was as much as we were. They, it seemed like they were treating her as like a deity. Like like you know Why do we why do we have the suspicion that she was that way? I don't know, I don't, I never, mm, we never had that suspicion that it was up to. She's celestial and... But she's like oh, yeah, elvish, like yeah, yeah, yeah. joking. Yeah, yeah, elven woman. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, so, cele so yeah, celestial, that deity, that tracks, that tracks, that's fine. Not, okay, so she's not with, like, the court or anything. Nothing weird. Right, if any more details come up, I'll mention it. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Well, what's the plan? We're going then? to fight the vine dragon, like just yeah, just, just burn it. Fun. What? What do you mean for fun? It's terrorizing the city. We need them to not terrorize the city. Oh, okay. Okay. So how far is? But, but um, what is it? What's the place? They're building a dragonator for it. No. But <laughs> what now? A dragonator. Dragon what? cannon something. Is that like a monster hunter thing? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, okay, tell them to hurry up. We can just pull it north yeah, tomorrow. I, I don't think they're gonna Wait, be done but... very soon. Okay, that's the that's the yeah. that's the that's the extension topic, the DLC topic that we haven't talked about yet. How are we gonna leave the city safely without getting eaten by bugs and with good survival and know our way back to wherever we were going to without a map? Cypherit managed to do it. What do you mean? I, I no, got lost he, and found he, he a dragon. Actually, he got lost. <laughs> do you remember the way back to the dragon? Wait, yeah, wait, it's north. We can't, can't we just use their teleportation circle to get... Yeah, the I know. Like, but the thing, that is my question. Like, how far is the, the vine dragon location from from the from the fishing village? From the whatever. I forgot what it's called. Ah, so, it can't be yes. just half a, so, from your previous memory, it's about a half a day's trek from Maso on foot. To the city. Yeah, why are we to going the, back to, to that? The vine dragon. To the vine. Why are we going back to that backwater town? We'll just go oh, fight the dragon. To so... collect our gear. Exactly. Wait, no, like... We can take. We can take him. Without magic gear. I, f I feel like the dragon. You want to take well, on the dragon without not being fully equipped. Oh, it's not a real dragon. Okay, it wait. doesn't Has matter. Asgroth has now um, Lara back. So. Oh yeah, you do. <laughs> do we need to go to Maso? Okay, then we can just go leave then. <laughs> what if we don't need? <laughs> no, that's not true. I need my shit. You can no, my family alone, literally okay, in the okay. back. Like, I okay. need it. We'll okay, we get. Go, we go, we'll, we go. we'll go. We'll go get their stuff. We'll give them the one and a half days to finish their dragonator, and then we'll meet them there. I feel like the dragonator is like a. Yeah, it's like a Station, month yeah. away. <laughs> okay, so then we just go get dragon our back. Yeah, we just thing is, get our no. thing and then we yeah, go get our things and then we we move to the vine dragon from Masu because without the dragonator. Without the dragonator. No, 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 no. Why you won't need no. the? I thought you said it's we could take it. Big dragon. It's just a dragon, like why do we suddenly they've need a dragon? Built, they've it's already not, built the thing. It's not. They are doing research and development on it. No, they they can finish That's... it while we get your stuff. I, I highly doubt that. I. But. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, when and I it's, say it's a thing that apparently shoots the dragon, and then hopefully pins the dragon to the ground. So. Um. Her stuff is right, like it seems like quite a stationary object, like it'd probably be mounted on like the castle wall. Yeah, I would like to clarify, when I say we can take the dragon, mm -hmm. I mean like we, five of us in half the city, we have oh. to, we can take the dragon. <laughs> well, <laughs> well then. You know, like villagers armed with long spears, very, very long spears, and us. And blatant use of magic which I did not think about until now so yeah don't know how it's gonna work out uh, okay I mean maybe they should finish that dragonator then guys I gave it a proper name why are you calling it dragonator <laughs> because oh, this is what it is what it's called. I only know it's a dragonator now yeah I mean it, it's it's probably a cannon that you need another person to load it right 
<laughs> you need another person to load it, and then it shoots one time, and then you need to reload it. Okay, let me let me just give you very upfront of this. There is the kind of cannon that yes, you need someone to load, but once it's fired, that's it. So if you miss your fuck. Okay, so it's a dragonator. <laughs> yeah, if you miss, there's like uh, the the, the is it yeah, an this, RPG? No uh, they are designing it to be movable, but it's very slow. It's probably five feet movement per round. Slow. Mm -hmm. Okay, that does not sound like a dragonator. <laughs> Good plan. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck a dragonator is. Okay. <laughs> it is. You have to see the schematics. It would look quite impressive when he showed it to us. Why do you assume I can read? It's a drawing. Can you see picture, cannot look at picture. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Wait, there was a picture. It's the fairy oh, realm adult fuck, in mind. Guys. <laughs> Wait, where was everybody? Did everybody miss my whole spiel on the dragon yeah. dragonator? Yeah. I, I was in the toilet. He I was told you. I was actually present for that. <laughs> Cypher wasn't. Forget it. The dragonator can just be, you know, for for and the future vine dragons that come. We we can we can go and deal with the fine dragon. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, I feel like out, I wanna look for a very specific mushroom that is round with orange veins on the underbelly. Just putting it out there. That's what well again. Sorry, just remind me. Ether cap. So, what are we doing right now? We're just chilling. Oh, we have to tell the high blade where the dragon is. Okay, we do that. You can ask him about his army, and then we collect our gear. And then that's the plan. Then we then. decide from there whether we wait for Dragonator or not. In order to collect our stuff, we have to leave the city. Just FYI. So you go back yeah. to yeah. Uh, yes. to muscle, no. but I mean we we can just teleport there. So yeah, yeah. so if you are teleporting to muscle and taking our shit, we might as well just go and fight the stupid dragon. It's gonna fly away. Without do the dragonator, really it will that fly it away. Rex Bastion, like, do we really care? Well, I don't yes. Care. Really. Clearly, Iridesa has a plan, right? Do you want her to get away? No, there's like a long list of reasons why we should deal with this dragon. Number one, it helps the people of Bastion. Number two, you get to say you killed the dragon. Number three, you piss up Iridesa. It's not a real dragon. Well, I guess that was a pretty short list, but it's a solid list. Okay, so if we kill the dragon, how are we going to come back to the city? We will be it will be sitting ducks in a environment that Iridesa controls. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like so we need a dragon. So we need a dragon hitter. It's not gonna. It's not. <laughs> Why would they tell you about wait, it if it's not like not ready? It's not ready. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The theory, okay. We can't just assume that the Dragonator will not work. Didn't they say that the Vine Dragon's not working. Attacked? I'm saying that it's not built yet. Like, they are research <laughs> okay, and okay, development. Okay, still, okay, okay, hold, it's not hold the door. Constructed. So... No, no, but, but they've, had, they've had Vine Dragon attacks before, right? And they're still standing. And they were quite a, they're quite a prosperous place, right? So they must be doing something, right? Well, well, yeah, I mean, I, I guess the dragon is more of like a defense for the city, not an offense, yeah. like bring it's it like up to the... It's like if they can the, the... take it down and mm. pin it, then they can kill it and then it won't come and attack them again. But at least it will be within their walls when it happens, you know what I mean? And then all their people yeah, will be there I mean, and then they will like, yeah. I guess, pounce on it or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So that's, I mean, that's that... the idea. Right, that's like literally they... what the dragonator is. It brings down the dragon, and the hunters <laughs> go and hit it. Yeah, yeah. In within the city, in the city walls. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so yeah, yeah. Bringing it out would then defeat the purpose of a dragonator. 
Yeah, it's a ballista. It's an immovable ballista. Yeah, what, what, what do I even name my creation? Next time I'll just let you name everything, right? <laughs> okay, what was the name? What's the name? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, dragon Cannon something. <laughs> dragon Slayer Cannon. Oh. Ah, wow, dragon Nita okay. is so much cooler. <laughs> It sounds like Dragonator to me. <laughs> it's like oh. a <laughs> so does it slay the dragon or does it just pin no, it No, it's supposed to pin it. Dragon like, pinning cannon. Like, 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 like harpoon and huh, you know what I mean? Yes. That is apparently the intention of this device that has yet to be constructed. Okay, <laughs> okay so, are we gonna go yeah. find... Yasin again. Yeah. Can we tell him to hurry up and finish his scan? Yes, yes. No, not, not gonna be. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just chilling. We're just chilling, right? So I can just use my spell slots. Like, it's cool. Uh, it is evening. You are, you need to long rest. Okay. Uh, no, a lot I of you missed to... long rest last night. So I'm... specifically, Kasglav, Isilia, and Oracus need to long rest or you will get exhaustion. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I just, I just and wanna... Me. Yeah, what's up? And, uh, Cypher also, yes. He gets I... his rest from singeing poor folk with magical fire. Ghostly flames. <laughs> Ghostly flames. I need flames. to... While I... long rest, I need to speak with Cast Glove. Oh, so I'm yeah. going to send a wait, message. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I... No, wait, wait, wait. I, I wouldn't be so irresponsible as not to inform your scene right away. Where the freaking dragon is. Okay. Yeah, I thought that's where we we're going next to immediately let him know. And okay. question about the army. You in you knock on the door he's there yes. Uh, I did not expect another meeting so very soon. Oh sorry I missed the last one. It's just that I found the dragon in up north. I'm sorry what? Yeah, so the vine dragon apparently needs to rest as well and it rests in the glade the north of the city uh i i don't know we uh um in the in the in the glade north uh yeah our and, holy uh, site your, your what now our Wait, holy site what's the, is that is this is there some kind of I, I hate to be the one to say it, but it's your holy uh, site uh, involves some holy tree. Uh, it is the site of a significant battle of centuries past. Uh, the bones of our ancestors lay in that glade. And uh, yes, the tree itself uh, was a, a sign of our victory over evil. What did you burn the tree? <laughs> No! No! Um, it was already destroyed, it was already destroyed. <sighs> yeah, I think... I think the enemy had the cruel taste to fashion the dragon from the tree. Oh. You can see he was holding a pen, he has dropped the pen. The quill. Uh. How soon do we would you like to move? Well, my compatriots have uh, mentioned <laughs> a device, a contraption <laughs> that would be able to hold uh, down. Yes, my dragon slayer cannon. He kind of pulls out the. It's not what they call it. But let me take a look. I put it on the table. And it's like, as you can see, the device will be mounted to a wall. Uh, yeah, as he goes on, I just like gloss out inside my own hair. Like, <laughs> it, goes, it, goes, it goes on for about like 15 minutes. Basically, the contraption will fire a shell, a ballista shell that will embed itself in the body of the dragon. It will be allow us to pull the dragon down to the ground where hopefully it would be unable to move when we have another three explosive shells that can be fired into the cavity of the dragon which will explode, explode with a high thermal volumetric charge which will set fire to the dragon and hopefully kill it. Okay, Cypher nods along, and a single bead of sweat <laughs> drops around his temple. Oh, uh, fireball. End of it, he says, uh, uh, he says uh, uh, so, so would this be possible to complete in, uh, say, uh, the next... Yes, three exactly, three months. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> no, I don't think we have uh, 
three months. Uh, could, could we uh, could we focus on the part where it uh, holds the beast down and have that part in three days? Three days. Just the holding down, and we will do the exploding part. Three days. Well, I do, I don't know. How long the dragon's gonna be there? Or how long it would need to rest? Uh, it might be possible, but... Uh, it will be... We, we will be pushing it. Well, honestly, it's no rush, I think. When you sit three city. days and now you said there's no rush? <laughs> well, there's no rush if the defense of the city is a, of a higher priority. I just felt like it would be more effective to attack the dragon after it has exhausted itself. Don't it know. is true that uh, a surprise attack on the dragon would be most effective. I uh, completely agree. Unless you wait for another counter attack. So you wait for the next attack. You repel it. You hope that your dr dragon slayer cannon is not we damaged. We do not know when the next attack might be. It could be anywhere between week, a week, a month. Well, is there a risk uh, you're willing to take? Uh, if we know where it sleeps now, we should strike. <laughs> I will try to get the dragon slayer cannon ready in three days. <laughs> Also, we'll need to use uh, the full extent of our abilities during that fight. Uh, have I not already given permission? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, oh, yes. Okay, okay. No, I was concerned about like the passerbys or bystanders or witnesses. In the glade? In the glade? Get, you gotta move your... I was hoping. I have we a question. Would... How did you? How do we plan on getting the cannon to the glade? I was planning on getting the dragon to the city. You were planning on bringing the dragon to the city and endangering thousands of people. I did not think that part true. That is why I am not the high blade of the city. Uh, but perhaps somewhere outside your holy site, where the... it would be more convenient to deploy the dragon. Nata. What dragon Nata do you speak of? Dragon slaying cannon. Except yeah. now it would be a dragon restraining cannon. Uh, does not have quite the same ring to it. Dragon slayer cannon. Got it. Yes. So. <laughs> uh, there is one possible uh, possibility, but. Uh, there is a large open area near Prig's bog. Yeah, fuck that guy anyway, right? Uh, well, that's that was our character. <laughs> there's a large <laughs> open area near Prig's bog, which is uh, would be good, uh, a good fighting location for us. The canopy itself is not dense. It will allow my men easier a easier time if the dragon was actually flying. Yeah, so and it is way out of ear shot of the city, so none of the citizens would be threatened by uh the dragon's abilities as well. The weird dude who eats his children. No, I know, I know, but I'm asking him, who is Prig? Uh, where did you two eat his children? Wait, so you so remember Creed but not Nera? <laughs> <laughs> I remember a dude who eats his children, okay? Like, uh, like, he, uh, he was once known as Prince Wrigley Bastion, uh, youngest son and only surviving member of his uh, family. Uh, he's uh, currently a shell of uh, the man that he once was. He lost his... Uh, mine a very long time ago after being driven mad apparently by a supposed ghost that he saw in the swamp uh, now he rules over this small clan he has these uh, ramshackle tree houses in the bog uh, but he uh, let his clan all share in his 
I, I guess, if you will, uh, habit. fate, habit, yes, uh, madness, habit, if you will, diet, diet yes. Hmm. He was a prince. Uh, he called himself a prince. Oh, so he was not actually of, of, import within the city. There are no kings or queens in uh, Bastion. Who were uh, his was... parents? Why is he calling himself a prince and not a king? He's always been calling himself Prince Big. I don't know why. I have had a few dealings with him and let's just say I do not want to deal with him anymore, which is why I suggest the five of you deal with him. You mean deal with him? You mean I... borrow his land to fight a dragon? Not borrow no. his land, borrow his men as well. It would be nice to have extra hands. How, how do you know he's going to help us? Why don't we just get the dragon not near him and then let self-preservation take over? Would you like to fight the battle on two ends? Oh, that's right, he could attack us. <laughs> well, what if he's in cahoots with the... Yeah, isn't that... Isn't that the assumption? Oh shit, yeah. He's working with you, that's all right. Or, or rather, or rather, we do not need like... to. We do not need to mention Iridesa if you do not want to. The only thing that I need you to do is to secure use of the land. Just ensure wait, that he. Wait, wait, wait. Have what? we mentioned Iridesa to Hybrid? Oh, sorry. I just assumed they mentioned before. That's how I use the name. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, I did. We did. I just assumed that you mentioned before. That's how I use the name. Okay. Did the enemy. I just like we prefaced it with we face a common enemy, right? But I don't know I whether we gave I thought we'd say mask else. If, I, if, I you, if you I didn't, didn't use the name, he wouldn't have used the name. Okay, I yeah, assume... like we didn't. Okay, then I... he doesn't use the name lah. Okay. Okay. Uh... It is just a issue of using the land. It is our impression it, that... It, 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 he calls it the killing fields. Oh. Or but maybe it's like um, the dragon slaying cannon and not as bad as it sounds. What, what, what does he kill in the killing fields? People! Humans. Oh, wow. To eat. He... It, there, like leg. No, he's just yeah. lost in thought. Yeah, I was thinking. I was like, damn. Was like, like, but his he must be thinking really deeply. <laughs> yeah, he is. He is. Yeah, he's, 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 he's like, frozen, right? I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah. damn, he must be thinking really deeply about it's the like, dialogue. Hello. Like, I was. It was, was like he. Hello. Like, hello. 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 Sorry. So I was like, I was saying like the he sets up bear traps in the fields. Sometimes the traders pass through, and uh, well, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Weirdo town, eh? Wait. So, How do we so lure wait. the dragon to the killing field? Oh, oh yeah, was... you you have to freak it out too. I was wait, just wait, gonna. Wait, 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 where where are these traps again? In the killing, killing, the killing field. field, outside Prigs Bog. But hold on, <laughs> isn't isn't he? Helping like the circle move. I don't know whether he's out. helping. Oh, is he? he? That has to mean yeah. that he's working with Iridesa, right? He is, man? Probably, or like uh, one way or another, right? It's somehow connected. Don't know how much. Is he that what the fertility doctor say? I don't know. I thought that was that was what I remembered. I mean, uh, we assume they're using his services, right? Which would mean that. Oh, one I, I remember that someone explicitly saying that that's how that, they move. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I think it was the, the potion guy. When we asked, because he only provides the potion, right? Then once they get out, how do they 
yeah. smuggle them out of the city and then I think he mentioned You his did name. you did get information before that Prick helped smuggle people out. Yeah. yeah. But, but you do not know with the circle operation. I mean, it, it, doesn't you, you, matter, right? it doesn't matter. You do not but anyway you do not know if he is working with Iridesa or not. Yeah. You just know that he is smuggling people out. Yeah, I mean like mm. how much he knows like we know yeah, that everything else already. you don't know. Yeah. Could, could, could we just fight in the where, where the dragon is? Sorry? No. It. I mean, like. I'm surprised Fireball is S. I feel like luring the dragon is not gonna be very. Yeah, how do we lure yeah. the dragon? The dragon can fly. It would outrun me waving at a wine's heart. Yes, that that was also not a thing I have thought of. Yeah. So it makes would make more sense for us to just go to where it is right now and kill it there. But we need the thing to hold it down if it goes up. So maybe if it could be if this I mean I'm sure a cannon like that has a tremendous range, so maybe we could have it outside the glade. How do we move it there? In the cover mm. of night. Can Reason pull it there? Can he no. carry it there? What if it's like a more compact version and like we can just have a few of us carry it? Of... it what if we it. break down its parts and then reassemble it? Like a trebuchet, I mean. I'm sure they have ways of transporting siege machines, right? It's just like that. It has to be trapped. Transported by coach or yeah, bunch, coach. bunch of wagons set it up in yes. half a day. We entered the glade. If it takes off and it flies away, good. If it takes off and flies toward the city, uh, strap it down and beat it. If it flies away, hope it doesn't come back. Good plan? A plan. A plan. What if we get a very big net and then we just throw it over the dragon? While it's asleep. Yeah, yeah, and then. I feel you need to tell them how big it was. How big was it? It was, uh. Trying to search for a unit of reference. Uh, it is about 150 feet, feet Baronas. 15 feet by 15. Uh, sorry, so. Uh, it's about 16 feet tall. <coughs> That's a lot of feet. Yeah, it's about like 20 Veronas if you stacked her up. Whoa. Oh man, one is already bitchy enough. Now we have 20. 20 Veronas tall. That's pretty tall. Um. Not shoulder to shoulder, but like if she were standing on her head. <laughs> okay. About 20 of them. Maybe. Wait, hold on. We saw the Vine Dragon. How can we not know how big it is? We saw it from far mm. away, so it looked like two Veronas, but I saw it up close. It looked like two. Oh, sorry. It's 15 to 30 feet tall. 15 to 30 feet tall? How yeah. does it double its height? Like as it's like standing? Yeah. Yeah. So 15 is like when it's sitting down? Yeah. Oh. That's... Yeah. Let's yeah. See. A... This is starting to sound like a bad idea. It's almost for just a dragon. I mean, not a real dragon. Well, if, if, well, if it were a real dragon, you'd have to worry about that scales. Mm -hmm. This one, no scales. Just set it on fire. Yeah, I know. Burn the sacred tree even more. Okay. Okay, let's go solo a dragon. We're not gonna use the reduce 
hooks we are, right? We have to. Use what? The reduced uh, scale dragon slayer cannon. Reduced. Mini dragon slayer. Mini dragon slayer. Anyway, regardless, yeah, if, if you want to, if you. Slayer. Okay, let me just. Oh, okay. So, like, regardless, if you want to use. Uh, if you want the use of the dragon slayer cannon, you will need to wait three days. To see the result of the whatever he has created. <laughs> Efficiency and, and watch it pathetically fail. Have some faith. They built guns, alright? They can do they can do grappling cannon. Their engineers are qualified. They will be, they will produce something in three days. I had I have made the roll already. Wow. Wow. Three days. Uh, I mean we have to wait for the High Inquisitor anyway, right? So we just get out day Arena. Yeah. yeah. Get back here. Think about how to take down a kaiju and then you know see what they build. We're gonna have our Pacific Rim episode. <laughs> Alright guys. I'm gonna long rest, I'm gonna speak to Cast Glove, that'll be the last thing for today. Last thing Alright. Hello. Hello. You wake up to the same plane, sir. Okay. <laughs> what would you like to do? Uh, same thing, I guess. The door. Uh, uh, it's like door not feels cold to the touch. Oh, Damn it. Okay. I'll, I'm gonna knock and uh, try to open the door. Alright. Open the door. Okay. Is it like very cold? Okay. It's chilly, yes. I'll just call out like, uh, Lyra, uh, are you there? It's been a while. I haven't heard that voice in a long time. I'll just like walk up to. I guess she's in a bit. Mm hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just walk up. Um, so, the whole room, I guess, is. is it does, does it look the same or is it more like disheveled, organized? Disheveled. Oh. Uh, I guess then I'll like just do a bit of like just pick up some stuff on the floor while I'm on mm -hmm. my way there. It's like. Um, have you been well? Not entirely. Oh, it's uh, it's everything okay. The 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 room feels a little cold again. I've been thinking. I don't know how long more I have. Seems like whatever warmth I get doesn't last as long. Every time you offer something, the warmth doesn't last as long as the previous time. I don't know how Sustainable this is Scott's Club. What do well, well maybe it's like the 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 quality of the item, like maybe if I find something powerful, um maybe they'll help more. Um do uh if if not like do Maybe, maybe I could, I mean, I kind of know where you are. I, I could try to get to you and hopefully, like, once I free you, then everything will be okay. I think... 
fast enough. Maybe it's not too late to... Maybe I'm just burdening you at this point. No, I mean, no, like, without... Without you... I wouldn't even be here right now. It is too much for me to ask for you to free me. Even though... I fear that is the only way. You have your... Your own path to take. No, I, I mean... No, it's... We... I'll, I'll, I'll find a way. You, you just have to hold on a bit more. We, it'll be all right later. On. I mean, we, we'll, we, we'll, I'll, I'll get you out, and, and you, you'll be fine. And, and then, like, anything after that, we, we can talk about it then. But you can't, don't, ha you can't give up. Like, I mean. It might take a bit more time, but I promise you, I, I will. I will free you. You are a kind soul, Kaskla. Your heart is true. Don't ever lose that. Even if I'm gone one day, don't ever lose that. Don't talk like you're going to leave. Don't do that. I, I'm, I, you really just hold on a bit more. I'll get to you. Don't, don't worry. Like, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I, um, may, maybe, maybe if Syria can help as well. Like, if I tell her what's happening. Can't ask Glaf. Don't. Don't worry. And for the first time, you kind of like see her, like shift her body, and she turns towards you, and you swear you can see like a slight smile before the vision fades. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Hmm. Yikes! That's that's big yikes. Okay. okay. I was in the Feywild for like two minutes and then it became like hours so I think it passes slower than faster here it could be mm. yesterday that they were at thousands of years ago in a row yeah alright case closed we solved the campaign boys <laughs> what happened we solved the campaign okay alright for Sean's benefit I, I lost my train of thought. Nice. I want to send a message to my mama before yeah. I sleep. Okay. Just checking on her, say, hey, uh, mom, just want to let you know we arrived at Bastion. Um, hope you're doing well. Hope brother's doing well. Check your... Check it. Okay. Okay. Uh, you do, you do get a reply, and she says that uh everything's okay so far. Uh, nothing really out of the ordinary. And he's not too bad, but uh, don't see him too much these days. He spends a lot of time alone. Alright. Okay, so... Oh. Sorry, you have a thing? What? He solved the campaign and he's gonna explain yeah, yeah, yeah. to Sean. <laughs> Sean yeah. So... Um... Remember the nether release? Were trapped behind the Shan wall? Right. For doing some... Was it illegal shit? I can't remember why. 
Why were they trapped behind the wall? For existing. Yeah, so but with some no no magic or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not a story the Jedi would tell you, etc., etc. So then, maybe the way, and we know that they were like fantastic, magic, powerful, all that kind of stuff, right? Then maybe the way out of the Shan Wall was to go into the Fey Wow. Okay. So they plane shift, they go in take over the court and they come out but because time passes differently in the Fey Wow in our world in our plane it's been like freaking long but to them it's just like oh yeah another real was like yesterday and all this endless army of mass elves they are the citizens of nether real why do they need to take over the court why can't they just get into the Fey Wow and get out uh, gathering power Gathering allies to strike back at Avaresca. And therefore, it would make sense that they would focus their attention on Anarok and Grey Home because to them, these are all like it's, it's like recent history to them, right? But so maybe part of their illegal magic shit was these hollow bodies and dark hearts. Oh, but um, part of hollows is they are Arcfey, right? Netheril Netherillions are not, right? Which we don't reason? know if they are Arcfey. We know that only Arcfey possesses these words of power. Traditionally. Who's to say that they could not have captured or learned that word of power or somehow ascended to the position of Arcfey? Again, it's all conjecture. I don't know. I could be wrong. But like, where, do, where does Netheril fit into all of this? I cannot see Darren's face now. I cannot inside check. <laughs> Okay, interesting. Where, where, where does the fallen city and fallen civilization fall into all of this? I mean, heard of more absurd stuff like a dragon made of vines. A, a red made of vines. Oh, yeah. Now that is, now that that's, is offensive. That's crossing all right. some line. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that, that, that sounds. Legit. Where would where would you explain an entire army of fanatical followers who feel like they have been wronged and tattooed the whole bunch yeah. of hearts? Like fuck Everesca in particular. Yeah, they are, they will pay pay for what exactly nobody knows. It wasn't exactly Everesca in particular. They destroyed my home. They destroyed your home, Kaska. That's true, but Everesca it's probably just because we general are, area. Yeah, the general area. Resto's not burning yet, guys. Yes, Let's check the mom. Also. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Waiting for us to get there, because in your in the vision we experienced it, so if we never go back, it never happens. Oh my god. Prophecy of birth. Ah, 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 ah. We're hacking the dream weaver now. Yeah, fuck you, dream weaver. <laughs> that's actually a, a really good plan. Let's just not go back. <laughs> yeah, the Moment you just step in like 300 years <laughs> later, like, oh no! <laughs> For reasons unknown, we must never enter the Mitral again. <laughs> Wait, hold on, Kesgraf, what happened? Did you speak to Lyra? Oh, if this is actually like the next morning, then. Oh, wait, not yet the next morning. We haven't long rested. Sure, sure, sure. OOC we, discussion. We'll do, this is the last thing, then only after that we will wrap. Okay, Kesgraf. Uh oh, wait. That means now we have two days left before the Dragonator comes. No, the three days yeah. starts three from days starts. Three days start from now. Don't send emails at five pm, but then it's like the next working right, day. Right, boys. Uh, okay. I mean, if woken, like if we wake up, uh, Kesla would jolt awake, so bad sleep. Um. I don't know, like, wait, who's who's in the room with me, even? We're all in one room. Yeah, all, all in one room. room. Right, that's... Okay, then it's not... I guess it's pretty obvious that something is, like, wrong. Or at least, Cast Club had not a pleasant night. Um... If it's, if I catch Isia's attention, I'm going to go to her immediately. And I'll... I'll ask her, like... 
it's Yuya. It's Lyra. I I I I think he's weakening. He's he sounds he's he he sounds like he's going to go away. What do you mean? Like she sounds far away from uh, you. Her power, like. You know how I give her like this the magical items and it helps her a bit. It's it doesn't seem to be working so well anymore. She 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 sound she keeps saying things like you know if I'm not there anymore like she thinks it's too late and everything like that. Like I I don't know what to do. Like I I I feel like I need to go right now to the and, and like go to her and try to free her. I think that's the only way. Oh, like, you you know magic. Like, what what can I do? Like, they 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 real. They real silver hand. Wait, am I getting the name wrong again? Fuck! What's going on? <laughs> oh my god! Can you just swing at her? Then she can see you. <laughs> 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 we can attack room. I mean, so wait, when was the last time you 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 did the little sacrifice thing? Oh, it must have been. Oh, I cannot even. Remember. It In was a while life. ago, right? Yeah, it was quite a while. Like it wasn't even like it was it way was before the, we went to your home, even right? The club of but the last one was a very powerful object, if I'm not wrong, right? That's not. Wait, it was it was clock of billowing. Yes. We were in oh, Anarol. Yeah, then that was yeah, very long it was ago. like a long time ago. That was yeah, Anarol. Okay, well we don't <laughs> have magic items at the moment. That was it's a powerful object, man. Why are you laughing? Yeah, it's a very powerful object. <laughs> no, it's not a very powerful object. Man. I'm not I sure if I doing said. another sacrifice <laughs> thing would help. Huh? Ato wine's heart. <sighs> it's not a magic item. Oh yeah. Oh. A bow Damn. is. Um. I could try to send her a message. Okay. I don't think I've ever done that before. Okay. I I don't know I don't know what to do, like me aside from just giving more items. That that could that would be I'm guessing a, a kind of a short term solution. We could maybe go to the uh, yeah we could maybe go into the city and and go find an um, go magic shop and maybe buy something. Do you know where you are? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I thought we did go. What we did go to to something no, that is like, like very low level. Huh? Invisible potions. Like yeah. there's an under, there's a potions. underbelly to this city. Is there that is not? a you haven't found the underbelly. Yeah lah, but uh, we know it exists. So is that we we have some time? Do we want to go and figure out where we can maybe purchase some stuff? Uh, I I don't know. I we 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 have. Um. If we, if we okay, how our... are you feeling? How are you feeling? Can you like try summoning summoning stuff like doing uh, I, something? I, I don't like, want to. Like, what what if it like strains Lyra even more? I I I don't want to. Just something small, like 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 a cantrip. Wait, but did did she ask you to give her more magical items? No, she she want she. It's kind of like the opposite. It sounds like she doesn't want me to. I I think she. Wasted. Yeah, I think she feels it's. Like it's futile. That. Oh. I can't save her in time. But if if we get our items back, maybe maybe like if there's something we are not using, I I could. Try to give it to her. Oh. I'm gonna send her a message. 
Okay, what the message be? Do you have anything specific you want me to say, Kaskar? Mm. I... I don't want her to go away. Oh my gosh. So the, it feels like she's disappearing. That is that what you mean? She sounds weaker. The, Weak. the, the, the room's getting colder, and the last time that happened, it was like, you know, she. It's like her power was weakening. Sorry, but do I hear this? Like, am I, am I, are we all sleeping in the same area? Yeah. yeah we're all in the same room. Uh, La I'm, last gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna approach Kasklov and uh, ask him, are you sure Lyra doesn't want any magical items, even just a little bit? Uh, she, that's what she says, but I, I, if there's any anything at all that I, I can do, I'm, I'm gonna try to, even if she doesn't want to. A DM is a bead of I... nourishment <laughs> magical. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. What, yes. wait, but what? But what? <laughs> Yeah, it is, it is, it is. Okay, well, I'm going to give the be one, well, two bead of nourishment because there's two things living inside the sword, right? Okay. Well, there's more than two things, there's maybe three things. Why? Oh, okay, let's just. About? I'll give, I'll give one bead of nourishment. I say, okay. maybe you can feed this metaphorically to oh. Lyra for oh, nourishment. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, last thing of the night, we will run Marion's message and then that's it. Okay. Send her message. Hi. It's sending or uh, sending, right? Yes, yeah, sending, sending. Okay. What's her name again? Le. Leira. 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 Okay. L e i r a. Hi, hi Leira. What is just gonna open with the hi? And what? Uh, Who can say hi? Make concern. <laughs> Okay, right, I'll say, on. Hi, Lyra. Kaskov is concerned that you are disappearing. Please be specific on what help you need from us. Okay. You can reply to this message. <laughs> okay. Why? Why? Why you? Why you do that? Should Cam? we go? Should we go to the high eyes? I think that's the mall. Uh, okay, gonna, may, maybe Direct a Christmas thing. saving throw. Oh, oh, is this a charm? I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> you, you, you get, you get, you get. Wait, wait, wait. Is wait. it a charm? Was that a con saving throw? Oh, wisdom saving throw. Charisma. Your aura of protection. Yes. Hey, there was that con? I mean, a uh, constitution. Picture gains a bonus. Charisma, charisma. Charisma. What did What? Charisma. What is the bonus? Oh, plus oh, three, plus three. three. Oh, you mean shit. plus three? Okay, That's why I missed okay. her so hard. Saving through. Come on! Oh my god! It was so good! It was almost a 20! Oh my god! Oh Plus 3, 10. It's a 10. It's a... Stop it! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> you are elf, right? Yes, I am. I roll so do I roll advantage. at advantage? Oh my god. If I have to remind you, it shouldn't happen. Uh. No, but that's, that's why I asked, like, was it a charm thing? I was asking, like, is it. It, it was, again. is it? Uh, yeah. Roll again. It's not. Oh, actually, it's not. Oh, God, so bad. Thirteen. All right. Okay. End of today's Shishan. session. You oh. see, Celia recite the incantation for. Hey, stop the whole <laughs> <laughs> Recite the incantation for sending, as she mutters the words for Hi. the message, and you feel the almost and like the magical vibrations fill the air. She suddenly, you see her eyes roll backwards, and she falls to the ground unconscious. Oh, oh my God. God. Uh, no. Die. Okay, dude. Die. And that's where we'll end today's session. Did did actually did the rest got safe, you'll never make it back. The rest got safe, guys. I will. You've reached your limit on talking. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's because you are nitro users. How come I only have six sounds with me? I only got six also. I think <laughs> you got that number here. Darren add sound to this.
server. Yeah, Darren can add some. <laughs> Fucking Tom and Jerry. Then we can add the emotional damage. Oh, no, no. Okay, okay. Uh. Bro, how do I add? How do I add? Oh, I can add. I can add. Bro. Okay, add, okay, add. I'll go and add. Discoursing shit. I love it. I love Please add that one. Oh my god. Okay. I'll pick this, we'll pick this up next week. See oh you god, guys. I'm unconscious. Help, guys. I'm so yeah. rest. Come back next week with a new Fucking character. Shit. <laughs> All the bitches in the L. Hey, listen, you had two <laughs> chances. You had two chances to not fuck up your role, Judge. okay? I'm sorry, nah, I'm sorry. If you, hey, if you do, how could it be, dude? If you don't come back, be? please take expertise or sorry, proficiency <laughs> in investigation, thank you. Investigation? <laughs> yes. Yeah, no. My my expertise is, is perception and insight and history. Alright. You can't. guys have a good labor day. By labor I mean not doing any work. Oh. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.